Hello friends, today we're going to look at the Diamond Air 62 aircraft. This uh, is a great introductory uh, twin engine aircraft, uh, very easy to fly, flies like a single engine plane. The Diamond Air 62 has a lot of qualities about it that other twin engine aircraft do not have. <clears throat> There's some great videos, documentaries out there about the Diamond Air 62. I suggest you go and look at them and learn more about this airplane before flying it around too much. You'll appreciate it that much more. Today we're going to talk about how to fly the Diamond Air 62 within Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. We're going to go through setting up for takeoff, uh, setting up the GPS, the G Garmin G1000 NXI. We're going to fly from uh, Foley, Alabama to Gulfport, Mississippi. A little short flight. I'll go through the stages of takeoff and cruise and then descent to landing and it should get you going uh, this is not a real world guide this is how to fly the aircraft within microsoft flight simulator so a lot of the checklists will be left out this will get you up in the air and get you going and i'll show you how to set up a little flight plan so let's get started all right the first thing we want to do is go ahead and turn our power on our battery right here all right we'll come down here and we're going to turn our fuel on Next thing we're going to do, we're going to turn our alternator on, turn our fuel pump on, go ahead and turn our master switch on for the left engine, and fire it up. Alright, now we're going to turn our right hand engine on. So we'll turn this fuel pump on, turn our master on, turn our alternator on, and hold the button in. Alright, so now we have our engines fired up. Go ahead and turn our avionics on. Turn our strobe lights on, nav lights, and our landing lights. Alright, everything seems to be looking good here. Alright, so now we need to pick out a place to go. So for that, we're going to set up a flight plan. And to do that, we're departing from... 5R4 and we are going to a direct route to Kilo Golf Papa Tango Gulfport, Mississippi Looks good. Hit enter. All right, and our flight plan is made out. <clears throat> so go ahead and close this. Make sure that looks right. Yep. All right. Now we need to set up some numbers here. Go over your timer reference. And if you want, you can set up these markers as to where they need to be. Okay, they're pretty much right. Your 87 mile an hour is going to be your best rate of climb. 76 is going to be your rollback speed for rotation. Some people set the glide, but our, uh, our rotation and our uh, landing approach speed is about the same. So we'll just leave this like it is. Alright, barometric pressure is set. It's wanting us to turn the uh, pitot heat on, which we don't need to, but we will for this. Turn the avionics on. Uh, 
We'll go ahead and set our autopilot up. All right, for our autopilot, today we're going to be flying a fight level change. And our best rate of climb, like we said, is 87 knots. We got 87 knots up here. We're going to be flying at an altitude of right at 4,500 feet. go and we'll go ahead and set our navigation to the GPS so we have our flight director set up it's wanting us to make a left hand turn already so we'll go ahead and taxi to the runway and get ready to take off go ahead and release our parking brake Now everything I'm telling you can be found in the pilot operating handbook. There will uh, there will be a link in the description below to get your own copy. Very easy to read. Diamond Air 62 was made for general aviation or for people to be able to jump in and fly and have a, a, a very dependable, very friendly, uh, user friendly aircraft. Um, plane automatically does a lot of things for you technically it is a complex aircraft but uh, your prop RPM your car your, uh, your mixture levels all that is done automatically through the computer all you have to do is fly a lot of people get their private pilot's license using a twin engine in aircraft you might say that's crazy but with the Diamond Air, if you got the money to buy one, I recommend you buy one before you even get your private pilot's license and, and get it in that. Very easy aircraft to fly. Today we're going to be doing a flaps up takeoff. We got plenty of runway. All right, before we take off, we're gonna go ahead and set our uh, our fuel to cross feed. You normally check for pot, uh, traffic both ways, but we don't have any traffic turned on today. It's just us in the sky. We're just focusing on flying the plane. with the runway. We'll clear for takeoff. Go ahead and give it full throttle. Alright, we're at our rotate speed. Probably the ready to climb, gear up. This thing takes off like a rocket. We're going to start on our westbound departure.
We're gonna kick our autopilot in. Engaging autopilot. All right. So now that we're in the air and we're flying, we'll go ahead and turn our fuel pumps off. And turn our landing light off. We'll climb the attitude and uh, then we'll set our. You can run this thing at 95% throttle. Uh, recommended throttle settings is 75% power. It has a cruise speed of 162 knots. If, in good weather, you can exceed that speed, but it's recommended you, you stay around 162 knots for your maximum cruise speed. We're already at 4,500 feet. We'll go ahead and set our power back to about 80%. Bring it back to about 80%. Get this number right up here. I like to, I like to power it out to where I'm right in there, right at 156. As you can see, our ground speed is 164 knots. Our true airspeed is a uh, 166 knots, so we're cruising along just fine. Now I know that when we get there to Gulfport, what runway we'll be landing on. So I'm going to show you a neat little trick while we're here. We're going to head set procedures and select the approach because we're not that far away. And today they are landing on runway 32. So we're gonna go down here. It's a pretty day out. So we're gonna be doing a visual on runway 32. And we'll be flying straight in. They activate. Okay. So our flight path has already been changed. We're gonna be coming in on the base leg. Turn it for final. I don't know if you can see here that uh, it's already got us coming here and turning in for final. So we're already on our approach, approach technically. I got this paint scheme off of uh, Flight Sim TO. I'll also leave a link for it, description down below. Beautiful paint scheme. Also did the interior. And pretty much that's it for takeoff and climb. I'll go ahead and fly this thing to Gulfport and uh, bring you back whenever we get ready for our descent. So, uh, see you when we get there. Alright, so before we begin our descent, I want to show you a few things with the G1000. When we set up our uh, procedure for our final approach, it put this little dot right here called Top of Descent. This is where the plane wants to auto, it's telling us, the computer's telling us we need to start descending 
at a three degree rate of descent. And we can have the plane do this for us automatically. But to do that, we need to set our altitude to this number right here. This is, this is the minimum that it wants to go to. So we'll go ahead and set our altitude. I normally just set it to zero. I'm gonna take over before we land. But this is the this is an easy way to get you lined up with the runway and get you on the on the proper angle of descent. Alright. And then all we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and kick on vertical navigation. And you should see right here VPTH. It's gonna guide our airplane down. It's gonna turn us on final. And it's going to meet us up. It's going to fly us all the way to final approach. Which it'll be a straight in final approach. But it's going to get us there. It's going to keep us at the proper altitudes. If you'll notice in the flight plan here. It has altitude set. When we hit final. It, we need to be at 383 feet. When we hit our straight in approach. We need to be at 1168 feet. It's 4.2 miles to this mark right here from 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 the top of the descent to this mark right here. And then 2.5 miles, nautical miles, from this point to this point. Now we can adjust that rate of descent right here, but I tend to leave it like it is. Now we, we, will, we will be responsible for maintaining our speed throughout this descent. All right, we're getting ready for our descent. <clears throat> we'll go over a few things real quick. We can set our takeoff flaps at 138 knots, and we can set our landing flaps at 119 knots. So we need to keep that in mind. During our descent uh, to approach, uh, we will reduce our speed to 88 knots, or we can set it, we'll, we'll set it to 88 knots. And then on final approach, we'll reduce our speed to 84 knots. Alright, so we're, we're entering our descent. As soon as we uh, see the nose kick down a little bit, we're going to go ahead and reduce back on the power. see it change over all right so we're gonna reduce our speed and get it down far enough so we can go ahead and give it a, a notch of flaps not gonna make any big quick sudden changes just easing that throttle back So we've reached our takeoff flap speed. So we'll go ahead and give it a notch of flaps. Remember that's gonna slow us down considerably, so keep your hand on that throttle. We're looking for 88 knots. Right there. Right there looks good. We still have a nose up attitude. Go ahead and turn our landing lights on. Go ahead and turn our fuel pumps back on. As you can see here, we're getting ready to turn on our final approach. Once we turn on final, I'm going to lower the landing gear, reduce uh, the speed, uh, give it another notch of flaps, and we'll maintain a speed of about 84 knots on final approach. Alright, so we're getting ready to turn right. 
on the on the final. Give it another notch of flaps. We're looking for eighty four knots. Go ahead and lower our landing gear. Every time we change something that slows us down, we're, we're creating more drag on the aircraft. So we got to watch that throttle, but right now we're looking good. we got a good approach speed. Plane's lined up with the runway. Kick that autopilot off now. And we're just going to fly it in. As long as we maintain that speed. I have my hands on the controls now. Just above the runway here. I stalled out. Give us a little nose up attitude. Looks like we're going to hit. Right on the marker here. Alright. We touched down. have it. Like I said, the DA-62 is a easy aircraft to fly. In my opinion, it's less complicated than the 172 Cessna, which is saying a lot because that's, that's everybody's go-to aircraft. Go ahead and turn off the runway here. Give somebody else a chance to land. I hope you learned something from this video. Like I said, there'll be a link to the pilot's operating handbook in the description below. Also, a link to the paint scheme that I used on this aircraft today. Beautiful aircraft scheme. If you have any uh, comments or suggestions, please list them below in the comments. I appreciate everybody watching. Have a good day.